Okay, so this morning, so far, I have uh, done dishes. I just put a load of laundry into the washer and cleaned up my bedroom and bathroom a little bit just because I'm OCD and like things clean. <laughs> and uh, later, I'm going to be making some other videos of just random different things that have to do with who I am as a person, and I will be showing it to you. And... I'm going to attempt to show you what my youngest cat looks like because I still have yet to actually show you what she looks like. She is very difficult to tape or, or videotape or even take pictures of because she never sits still. Uh, I mean, she's literally like a race car driver. She's always going. I'm trying to figure out where she went. She was here a minute ago. <laughs> but uh, her name is Sapphire and uh, she's cute. Oh, there you are. She's just looking at me. <laughs> she's uh. My husband and I think that she might be part Maine Coon. We're not entirely sure, but we think she might be. She's just a cute little thing. Sappy, you want to say hi? <laughs> we call her Sappies for short, but her name is Sapphire. She's, uh, she's got a lot of fur. She's uh, the youngest. She's the baby of the family. And she's just the cutest thing. She's just adorable, isn't she? <laughs> she is um, about a year and seven to eight months, I think. Uh, my husband found her, or one of his co-workers found her. She somehow got stuck inside of the wheel of someone's truck, of a Ford. And she was dirty and, and a mess, and she was barely a month old when they found her. And he decided to bring her home and adopt her, and she became my little girl. Of course, when we first found her, we thought she was a boy. And we, uh, he named her Dexter. Until we took her to the vet. He took her to the vet and, and found out later that he was actually a she. <laughs> so we changed her name, and we came up with a name that we thought would be perfect for her, and it's Sapphire. And she's just all kinds of cuteness. She, she's got the baby of a kitten because she's still like not an adult yet. But she's got the attitude of an adult. <laughs> she's just so funny. She cracks me up all the time. Don't you say these? <laughs> she's adorable. I love her. And then you're going to meet, uh, you've already met him, but you'll meet him again. Jasper. Our oldest, he's six years old now. He's a daddy's boy. Daddy got him straight from the litter of his brothers and sisters, literally. Come here. Come here. I hear you protesting. Come here, big boy. Come here. <laughs> Can you look at the camera? <laughs> that would be Jasper. He's just, he's ornery. He can be sweet sometimes, but he's a very honorary cat. He's He protests literally about everything. If, if you walk past him and don't give him attention, he meows and protests. If you touch him when he's trying to sleep, he protests. And he basically, just everything. <laughs> he, I call him the protester. <laughs> because he's always meowing and protests about something. And this is him again. Right now he's kind of upset because I won't let him outside and there's a reason for it. Last night we were going to let him outside until he started sneezing his head off which told us his allergies are having troubles and when our cats have allergies and they're showing signs of it, we don't let them outside. We don't need them getting sick because we really don't have the time to take him to the vet for any shots or the money to keep them from getting sick which means you're not going outside. I don't care how long you protest, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> and uh, it's very hard for you to meet Cookie because she literally blends in with anything dark. Because she's a pure black cat with just a little bit of white fur underneath her, her uh, like right next to her neck. She's very difficult to see. If I could just get her to look at the camera at a certain angle, you might be able to see her face. Cookies!
sometimes I like to call her uh, the drill sergeant or because she meows her head off in a way that sounds like a drill surgeon who's commanding orders at someone. I mean, she literally reminds me of someone who goes around barking their head off, except she meows loudly and for long periods of time just for attention. She's uh, very difficult to make happy because she wants you to pick her up, but when you attempt to pick her up, she runs away. And then when you follow her, she just keeps running. She is the most difficult cat we have in that area. But she's also very sweet because when you're sick, she knows about it and she cuddles with you. I've got another one around here once I find her. Piper. Piper, come here. Yeah, you know I'm calling you. She's my little girl, Piper. She's um just turned three. She's my, my little sweetheart. I found her. It's actually kind of hard to explain how I found her. So if I, well, I did, but I didn't find her at the same time. Uh, she kind of found me. She's a sweetheart. She's uh, my baby girl. I named her Piper. I thought it was a perfect name for her. I always give her hugs. <laughs> uh, she's the one who likes to lay next to me in bed sometimes but after a while it's hard to sleep with her next to me because she likes to push me out of the bed or to take over my pillow and, and it's just diff it's very difficult to sleep with a cat who wants to take over the entire area <laughs> it's like sleeping with a dog don't even think about it Jasper I'm watching you he likes to sometimes get into trouble by attacking his sister. But, um, those are my cats. Uh, just last night, before I made a video of me playing with my cats, I decided to clean up my desk area because there was books everywhere and nothing was organized. I don't know why I let it get so disorganized. Normally I don't. I'm a pretty organized individual, but at this point in time, it was like I had to clean. So, I cleaned up my desk the entire area of my desk. Uh, you might have noticed that there's a pillow right here on my uh, stack of drawers that I have. That pillow is the one pillow my cat Piper likes a lot. I used to use it as a cushion for my chair. But she refused to get out of my chair, and the only way to get her out of it when I needed it was to give her the pillow, too. So I put the pillow up there in order for her to stay up there, and now that's where she stays when I'm at my computer during the day. This little thing. You can tell she's laying on it. She's got fur. I mean, she's shredded fur all over it. It's, it's crazy. It's her pillow, literally. And if any other cat gets up there, she is not happy. She gets very cranky <laughs> fast, <laughs> and I have to move them so she can get up there. Of course, I guess that's just cats for you. They're very territorial in some ways, just depending. Um, I haven't actually been on my computer yet today. I might later today, but right now I'm too busy making videos and doing a few chores. <laughs> so... Um, I'll be making another video later. Hopefully sometime today. Thanks for watching.